What's going on guys? Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care. Got the Goodman Lawn Care hat, shirt, everything right there going on. Today we're going to do a review on the Xmark Laser T X Series. So there it is. This is the new one, and that's my old one. On this one right here, I have 740 hours on it, 739. And on this one, I have 115, 114. So about 115 on this one and 740 on that one. Uh, my dad's mower and the shop over there, it has about a uh, thousand and something hours on it, maybe even 1100 hours on it. It has a lot of hours. Uh, so these mowers, they definitely last. Um, I'm going to give you a little walkthrough, and then I'm going to start getting into the actual review of things I like and things I don't like. Uh, there are surprisingly a couple of things that I don't love about them, but uh, I'll get into that in just a minute. So I want to start off with the deck and the frame, just kind of how the mower is built, uh, the kind of, kind of the whole structure of it. Um, no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, these are rock solid mowers uh i don't i don't think you'll find a mower out there that's built as sturdy as x mark um i could be wrong i haven't really explored a whole lot of mowers but these mowers are rock solid and uh the decks i mean my gosh they are absolutely just i mean man just i don't even know what else to say i mean the decks are just crazy uh, the airflow on them is great. Uh, we keep them cleaned out up under there pretty good. Um, but even when there's, there's stuff caked up up under there, the, air, the airflow is still flowing. I mean, it's still good. Um, so, I mean, the overall, the deck and the airflow, great. Frame, I mean, the frame is just awesome. Never had an issue with that. Um, one thing uh, we do have happen a lot is we have belts and stuff jump off. Um, but that ain't nothing just to put it back on or to put a new one on or something like that. Um, I don't know. I do feel like we go through a good, good many belts uh, overall, which are mowing a lot of grass, but we do go through a lot of belts. So, you know, another thing, I, I was going to say this for later, but I'm right here at it, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. So I had an Xmark Radius. I think it was an E-Series, and uh, I sold it this summer um it was a great mower wasn't wasn't anything wrong with it i i just sold it because i wanted to get another laser t to match up which i'll talk about that in just a minute um so on the on the radius so if you're sitting on the mower like this on the radius this right here was right there and it was looking up at you so to change out your height all you did was you know put the deck in the travel position and you take that pin, which wasn't right here. It was, let's see if I can get it out. It was right here. And you just move it to wherever position you want it. So you really can't tell on this mower. Uh, but this is pretty aggravating because I have to lean over and see what I want to put it into. And sometimes, sometimes, instead of two and a half, we put it on one and a half. And then we scrap the yard. And, um, you know that's it's pretty inconvenient to do that it's a to me this right here i feel like they could have done it the same way they did on the radius and put it right there facing up maybe there's a reason they did that um i don't know but that just seems more user friendly to me to put it like that than to vertically like that i don't know i just i don't love that and uh, that was one thing dad said that he didn't like about it um but that's not a deal breaker to me that's if if that's all you know that's that's not a deal breaker to me but that is one thing that i just don't love about these mowers um, another thing is the parking brakes wear out very quickly uh to me um this parking brake on this mower right here is just i mean completely gone i mean i moved it with one finger right there see just gone and see this one right here this is my new mower has 115 hours I mean, I can't, it takes a little more force to move it. And you can kind of hear it when it goes back in place. It, it's, it's hitting pretty good. And this one, 
I mean, it's just loose. And uh, I typically like to put this one in the front and that one in the back, so it'll hold this one because if I put this one in the back and that one in the front, this one rolls back and hits the push mowers and everything. So uh, just because that parking brake doesn't hold and um, we need to get it fixed. We just hadn't yet. Dad actually adjusted his on his mower himself. Um, so we need to get out here and do that sometime soon. But that is one thing, uh, another thing that we just don't absolutely love about these mowers is the parking brake doesn't last. And then the, um, the way you do this right here, this is not really a problem. It's just more of an inconvenience. Uh, so this is where you put your gas in right here. And uh, it's a 10 gallon tank on these mowers. They don't use a whole bunch of gas. Um, they do go through it, but they don't use they don't just suck it down like it's it's not like they they're bad on gas or anything like that um but they do use a little because i mean it is a pretty pretty big engine on there uh which is understandable but overall to me they don't use they don't use that much gas so uh that's just a little little extra thing there the uh, suspension seat wonderful i mean absolutely wonderful i sold my radius like i said my radius didn't have a suspension seat on there. It had no suspension on it whatsoever. Um, it wasn't that bad, but I'll put it this way. These mowers are way more comfortable than that radius was. Um, and so, so you have this little thing on here and you actually adjust it to your weight. Uh, I weigh about 170 to 180. So I put it right in there on 190 and it uh, does really good for me. And so, I mean, great suspension seat there. Um, never had an issue with that. Never never thought that wasn't enough suspension or anything. And these seats will actually, with this lever, you can move it backwards or frontwards, you know, however you want, however you need to, to adjust for your legs, leg room and everything right there. Um, let's see, what else here? Love these little storage compartments. Uh, great cup holder, never had my drink fall out of the, out of the mower or anything like that. Um, so overall, it's a great mower. Can't go wrong with it. And we did put these advanced shoe systems on here. Um, we had the other, uh, one that came on there, the X mark, uh, shoot there, uh, great shoot, nothing wrong with it. Uh, we just needed something that we could open and close, uh, on command, like when we need it, uh, because like, you know, you're going by a window, you're going by a, a car or, you know, a road or something, you need to shut this real quick. You can shut it. And then, you know, open it right back up once you get past whatever you're trying to get past. So uh, that's why we did that. Uh, the X-Mark shoot is really, really hard uh, plastic. You won't break it unless you're just ram it into something. Uh, great shoot. And uh, so no, no complaints there either. So to get to the belt right here, I was meant to show you this earlier, but I forgot. Um, you open that up right there and then you lower the deck, of course. And you have full access to all your pulleys and everything. And then right there is your diagram of how your belt goes. Uh, but you're doing enough and you know exactly how it goes on uh, without looking at that. So you got more instructions right there. And uh, so they did a really good job uh, labeling everything and anything, everything like that. So I kind of want to recap back to the Kawasaki 801V. Um, I've never had a single issue with these engines at all have 740 hours on this one uh never had a single issue with it uh, that i can remember at all i mean i don't think i've ever had a single problem with them uh i changed the oil in these mowers i try to every 50 hours uh, sometimes i let them go a little bit longer but every 50 hours is what you need to change your oil at and so um I just really wanted to brag on these mower on these engines because I've never had a lick of trouble out of them. I mean, this is the air filter and everything. We shake it out every once in a while. Uh, fuel filter over there, never had an issue with it. I mean, overall, great, great engines, a lot of power. Uh, that's another thing Dad said. He loves the power of these mowers. They have so much power. And uh, I'm sure you've seen that by now in some of my videos, what I've done with them. Um, I've ran them through all kinds of crap. And uh, they, they hold up and um, they run like a champ. So I uh, want to brag on that real quick. And I also want to brag on these advanced shoe systems. They're great, great, great piece of equipment. Um, awesome. I, I don't know. I don't know how I made it without them, really. 
uh, because now I use them to mulch up grass, mulch up leaves, go by windows, go by cars. Uh, I have a lot of commercial properties right now. If you have a lot of commercial properties um, that are kind of in town and you know, you're around a lot of cars, around a lot of traffic, I recommend these highly, highly recommend them. These are better than mulching systems because that you can open and close them like that on demand. You see a mulching system, you put it there and it's there. So this right here, you can open and close it whenever you want to. So it's like a mulching system that you can open and close. So highly recommend these. Uh, they're super, super great. And um, I'm also thinking about getting a weed eater rack uh, to put on one of these mowers. I'm not sure if I'll ever do it, uh, but I've seen them and I think they, they're they they're pretty handy because I have a lot of uh, a lot of bigger properties that are, you know, two, three, four acres and, you know, the weed eating is not all in one spot. It's it's kind of spread out and I uh, dropped my sunglasses there, but uh, they're kind of spread, they're kind of, the weed eating's kind of spread out here and there. And so sometimes you have a long walk and it'd be easier to, you know, if you can keep a weed eater right there and hop off and weed eat it and drive way over there to the next spot and weed eat it real quick. And so it would also be faster. So that's one thing I'm thinking about also putting on there. Uh, not sure if I'll do that anytime soon or not, but, um, I'm definitely thinking about it. I do have these 60 inch decks on both mowers. Um, I've been talking to, I've talked to some other people, uh, that live, you know, in Florida or, you know, wherever, and they, they use smaller decks. And, uh, so I use a 60 inch deck. So I was going to explain to you why I use what I use. So the 60 inch deck, uh, to me is just a perfect size deck because it's wide enough to where you can cut big yards and zip through them pretty quick, but it's not wide enough to where you're not going to scalp everything when you go to turn on a heel or stuff like that. 60 inch decks are just perfect to me. Um, sometimes I wish I had a little bit smaller mower uh, just to do you know some smaller yards and smaller commercial properties and stuff. But overall, the 60 inch deck uh, works best for me. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, I do use aftermarket blades because they're cheaper. I don't use uh, Xmar blades, they're kind of expensive and everything. So I do use the aftermarket blades and I change them out uh, typically uh, about every two weeks or so is what I try to do. Sometimes I let them go a little bit longer. Uh, every once in a while I'll go buy a couple, two, three, four sets of blades and I'll go ahead and keep them here. And that way when I want to change the blades, I can go ahead and change them. And so I uh, just want to throw that in there that I do use aftermarket blades. I don't use the, you know, Xmart blades that comes on the mower. Uh, they're great blades. They're just a little bit more than what I want to spend. So I buy the aftermarket ones and they don't last as long, uh, but they're cheap enough to where you can afford to change them out uh, pretty frequently. So I want to throw that in there. And also on these decks, uh, they did come with covers. I meant to throw that in there earlier, but they do come with covers uh, to put on there that it's supposed to keep the grass and stuff from getting on top of the deck like that. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I took them off uh, because I didn't like them because I had stuff every once in a while. There's a hole on those covers that's right here, um, right in there somewhere and stuff would get under that hole and it wouldn't be able to escape anywhere because the cover kept it on and it would just bounce around in there hitting the pulleys and stuff and I didn't like that. Uh, so I took them off and this way they're easier to wash, easier to, you know, you can take a blower. Like right now I could take the blower and blow all that grass out of there. Easy, no problem, don't have to undo anything. Only thing I do is lift this up and blow it out. That's all I gotta do. So uh that's why i took those off there they did come with them though i want to throw that in there they don't you know come like this i i took the covers off myself so uh just want to throw it in there all right guys so that's it for my review uh, as you can see these mowers are built i mean they're they're built very very good uh very high quality uh great for the money uh like i said they run about thirteen thousand, a little bit a little bit expensive um but I think that's fair for what you're getting. I think you're getting a great mower for 13,000. Um, I mean, they're great mowers. Like I said, the dependability alone um, makes them worth it to me. And just the the decks, the way the decks are built, the way the frames built, uh, the Kawasaki engines. Um, I've heard Kohler engines are pretty good, but I've never had any experience with those, but uh, I like the Kawasaki. But anyway, uh, anyway, guys, these are great, great mowers. I know I've said that a lot, but uh, I really just, I really can't explain to you how great they actually are. So, um, like I said, 
I recommend them highly. Um, and so I think that's about it. I really don't know what else to say. I feel like I've covered everything. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any experience with Xmart mowers or if you have a different brand that you like better or you know any anything you like or don't like about these mowers. So just let me know what's up and everything and uh, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you learned something and I'll see you later. Always forget it. Remember to like, subscribe.